we've got, we've got dry ice, which we won't need next year. And we've got the iron. What we're trying to do is kill the pigment in the hair, not kill the hair follicle, because we want the hair follicle to grow back. And when the hair grows back, it will grow back white. Once we have 15 seconds, we know we've, we've, we've got a brand, but I tend to go another 10 seconds if I can get it, just to make sure. Currently this season, the foals that were born were microchipped and branded and next season those foals will be microchipped only. We've been doing this for like 50 to 60 years now and um, that is HRNZ decided on a transitional year where we would brand as well as microchipping for people to get used to the idea. Globally a lot of the harness jurisdictions around the world are changing to microchipping, Australia are already doing it, Canada and the US and of course thoroughbreds in New Zealand here have been microchipping their horses for years. So what we're trying to do is identify a neutral ligament and the way to identify it is put your hand across the top of the neck and it feels like a rope so it's just right there and there's a little transmitter there big as a grain of rice So the microchip has got a coded number and that number will be um, individual to that horse um, Comparatively it's probably like a flu jab We try and make it as quick as we can I would have to stand for about a minute all up for the procedure. Um, just with the microchipping, you can see how quick it is. I would say it's about 50-50. People love their brands. I think everybody knows that it's time for change and, and traceability is becoming more important. So that they're understanding. Um, in, the, in the leisure horse, sport horse world, a lot of people there are loving the change and loving loving that, but there are also a lot of people that love their barcode babies. They're available for about $100, uh, depending on what quality um, you want. HRNZ won't be supplying communal scanners, but obviously trainers are welcome to get together and, and buy a scanner that they can use between themselves. That's totally up to them as long as you know they can identify the horses when they need to identify them. The HRNZ IT department have been working with Bluetooth scanners and linking them with text to speech. So this is where trainers will be able to scan the microchip, link it with Bluetooth to their phone, and their phone will be able to tell them the name of their horse as long as the horse is linked to the HRNZ database. Everywhere in the world, um, the metal what discipline you're in, microchipping's the way to go.